Hello, welcome to Life in the Word again. I am Blaise Tintum, pastor, lead pastor for Living with International Church. I want to welcome you today to this segment of our broadcast, Life in the Word. Our scripture today is from Isaiah chapter 58, we'll read from verse 10 and 11, and uh, it says this. If you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. And you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Hey, I want to come to you again today to urge you in this season of coronavirus. You know, there are people who have, there are people who do not have. There are people who are going through tough times. And the Bible says, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in darkness. Be the hands and feet of God in this season. Be an extension of His kingdom. Reach out to your neighbor. Reach out to your friends. Reach out to your loved ones. Share what you do have with those who do not have. You know, I know in the times it could be gloomy. We could look at the things that we lack. But if you look right around you, you will find out there are people who do not have even the basics that you do have. Reach out to them. Here at Living with International Church, our food pantry is very active. We are reaching out providing food, helping people in different ways. And we are helping to make lives count in real ways. And I want to urge you to make life count in real way. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17 says that, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he has given him. And it doesn't matter if that poor is a Christian or not. He who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. When you give to people who are around you who do not have, what is happening is that you are giving a loan to God. And God will repay you. Praise God. Amen. Uh, let me read back this Isaiah chapter 58 for us. And I will pray for you. Isaiah 58 verse 10 says, If you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness. The, what you do have, give it out. Then you will see how light will shine in your darkness. Then he says this, And your darkness shall be as the noonday. In other words, when it is the darkest moment of your life will be like the brightest moment of the day. Oh, hallelujah. That's amazing. Verse uh, 11 of that Isaiah 58 says, The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought. I know that um, people are trying to hurt because they don't know where the next is coming from. But what you do have, I urge you, share, care about people around you. Look out for people who do not have and be the hands and feet and, and feet of God to them. And it says, the Lord, Isaiah 58 verse 11 says, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a garden that is always nourished, like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Hallelujah. I want to urge you, you want to see God reach out to you, be a conduit through which his love flows out to humanity in this season. Reach out to people around you. Reach out to your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Reach out to them. Minister to them. Give to them. Reach out. Meet their needs. And see how God himself meets your needs. Let me pray for you today. Father, I thank you for my viewers. I thank you for my brothers, my sisters. I know that we live in trying times and in tough times. And I know that sometimes we do not have enough. But Lord, I pray that you give us a grace to be able to reach out to those around us who do have needs. And as we reach out, Lord, we become your hands and your feet, the extension of your kingdom, and that you cause your kingdom come and your will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. We thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you that God will show himself upon you, that his riches, the riches of his glory will be made manifest in your life, that he will water your life and you will never live in dryness or in drought in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to urge you, subscribe, click the subscribe button below. Uh, follow us on YouTube, on, on Facebook, and check our other content. God bless you richly. We love you. See you next time.